So at long last, the Super Mill project is underway. This will be a video series. Uh, primarily, the uh, chapters are going to be overviews of the various components, starting with the base and then moving to the column and the head and the spindle and the automatic tool changer, final assembly. In between the major chapters will be more detailed uh, videos describing each component, or at least the more, more interesting components and uh, the engineering uh, behind them, structural information, material selection, how they contribute overall to the structure, and so on. So what you see here, we're starting with uh, cast iron rails, a two and a half inch by four inch cast iron rails down the middle. Those are bolted to three quarter inch steel shear plates, which in turn then are suspended in a steel frame, which is a weldment. At the back of the steel frame, you're gonna see a backbone, and that's actually a torque tube, which transfers the torque from the uh, column uh, through into the frame and then on through the legs and into the floor. On top of those cast iron rails, then we have a uh, 55 millimeter wide roller type uh, slides. Each of these rails actually came with a oversized preloaded truck uh, to which I then added a standard truck uh, to further increase the rigidity. On top of that now is an inch and a quarter precision ground steel plate uh, which acts as the saddle bolted to the y-axis slides and of course the, and then the x-axis slides on top of those slides, which are 51 inches long, and I believe 45 millimeter slides, um, preloaded, and there, on top of that goes a, a modified Bridgeport table. I hope this first video has piqued your interest, and I'm separating the overviews and the highly technical stuff so that people can choose what they're interested in seeing. This is what everybody's been waiting for, and uh, here it is finally.